Hello, darlings, and welcome back to Pass or Smash, new makeup edition. So, um, this week, uh, you know, I found some more goodies for you. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Liz, and this is my makeup garden. Um, on Pass or Smash, we talk about new makeup releases, primarily indie launches, um, and we decide pass, like we're not buying these, or smash, add to cart. Let's just like jumping right into it. And don't worry, friends, I will have all the deets for you in the comments below. Fret not. Um, also with like any information I can find or codes I can find for you if codes are applicable. So let's jump in, okay? So Salem Cosmetics is, leaky, is releasing their spooky cute blushes. There are four shades. They're cruelty free. They are going to be permanent items in the collection. So fret not like if... If you can't afford them right now, it's no big deal. Um, codes will work with them, so that's good to know. And they are available now for $15 each. They did say that there's no bundle of it, like bundles available. So I'm not sure if that's gonna be something they end up doing in the future, but for now, there are no bundles, just single shades. They're really pretty, pretty colors. There's two kind of like orangey colors. One's terracotta and like one is like a clementine kind of a color. And I'm like, I'm weak for an orange blush, but I'm trying to be good. But it is, by the way, the season for blush. I have seen so many blush releases and I don't know about you, but my collection, I have a lot of blushes in my collection and I still find myself going. <laughs> but anyway, um, eventually this will be a smash because I would really like to try the formula. Um, they do say that they're smooth and easy to blend, which I like. I'm curious about how pigmented they are. Um, but for now, it is going to be a smash down the road, but I might wait a you know, couple of weeks before I get them because I did just get the Blend Bunny ones, so coming soon. All right, so Unearthly Cosmetics has two launches that we're going to talk about. Okay, dose. Um, the first one is they're releasing singles of, well, they have released, let me put it that way, singles of their low light, uh, um, highlighters. They're like a multi-chrome, like vibrant highlighter. It's $32 each. So if you only wanted one of those colors, you can get it for $32. There is one shade, however, that is different. So the shade Twilight, which is kind of like a glittery, like a glittery highlighter, that one is $15. So for me, this is a pass. I look at this and I'm just like, I don't want these. If me, that is a pass. But they are, and I will give you whatever information I can find at the time. Sometimes there's not a lot of information um, and they're just preliminary things, but I want to share them with you so that you know it's coming, you know? So, all right. Um, their second launch is the Don't Be Jelly palette. Um, and they did leak the color story for this, but they have not leaked pricing or launch dates, any of that yet, okay? But the Don't Be Jelly palette it looks like it's five mattes um, and seven shimmers. Now, I don't know if any of those shimmers are going to be, you know, like dual chromes or any of that. I couldn't really tell that. It looks like one might be a transformative shade, which would be interesting. Um, the one in like the top left, that like white kind of a highlighter shade. So that might be a transformative shade. Um, but it looks like there's five mattes and, um, seven, and seven shimmers. So we'll see what happens. Um, as soon as I have more information for you, I will share it. But this is just like the preliminary. There's no dates yet. So, all right. I do have an update for you on the Glaminatrix Into the Night palette. So they finally released the launch date. Um, so that is in the pricing information. So it is launching on April 29th at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and will retail for $57 US dollars. So um there's that and here's a refresher of the color story we already know it's like a smash but like i don't know i might wait and see some reviews on it before i buy it but like smash add to cut so shine by sd cosmetics has a, a dual collab i don't know how else to put this okay so they collabed with two creators, M. Jones, um, 
I don't want to get her Instagram handle wrong. So M Jones 5018 and Bazaar Revolta. And I will have, um, you know, all of it in the description box, but um, they've created a duality collab. There are two six pin pa um, two six pin palettes. I can't say it. I can't say it today. I can't say it today. Um, two six pan palettes um, inspired by dawn and by dusk. Don't mind my hand talking. It's just who I am. Okay. It's just, we are, we are. All right. Um, inspired by the dawn and dusk. Um, it looks like it's going to be 88 US dollars for both palettes and codes will work with that. Not sure how that's going to work, but um, and that is launching April 15th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So coming soon. For me, this is a pass. I'm not interested. There are six shimmer shades in each palette. And though they're pretty, I just, I won't reach for these. I know that about myself. So congrats to them all, but no, thank you. Pass. So, all right. I do have one. <laughs> Because I'm kind of analog in certain ways, I write everything down. I am who I am, okay? I am who I am. <laughs> All right, so Suba Beauty um, is releasing, or has released, their UV Pest Festival Palette. Oh my God, I cannot say that. UV Festival Palette. There are 10 shades or 10 hues of water-activated liners and several different finishes. Apparently, there's um, electric UV colors, which they're really good about. Um, vanishing chrome, which I think is when you turn your head and it's like, you know, you turn your head and it kind of disappears and then you turn back and then you can see like it lights up. It's reflective, if that makes sense. And then duochrome colors. Um, they are cruelty free and vegan and those will be $32 for the water activated liner palette. I'm really curious about these. For me, this is going to be a smash because... I like the idea of this, specifically this palette. Their metallic liner ones too really kind of called to me. So I'm very interested by them. Um, but yeah, smash. Okay. Okay. Am I going to buy it right away? Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. I might wait a bit. Maybe I'll wait for Black Friday, but I am very interested in it. So, all right. ColourPop is finally getting their shit together and they're releasing permanent lines for the different categories. So we know that they've already released like permanent lines for their blush categories. Um, they are releasing permanent lines for their cream gel liners. So if you're familiar with ColourPop, um, you know their cream gel liners are awesome. They are awesome and they're inexpensive. They're $7 each and they wear for up to 18 hours, okay? So they have some really fun colors like from like flat colors to metallics and like everything in between. And they're really cool. So I very much enjoy using them. They will break. <laughs> they're $7, all right? If you push too hard, they will break. But man, when you put them on your eyes, not only are they pretty and they're colorful, they show up, but they do last. So I would recommend them. Um, but they're releasing a permanent line. So they do retail for $7 each. Um, and the total set, which if I remember correctly, has like 18 shades in it, um, is going to be $99. So I don't think any codes apply to that at all, but it's definitely worth it in my opinion, especially if you don't have like any other liners. Otherwise, just buy the colors you want. They're not that expensive. And they're, they are sold at Ulta. I don't know how many shades they carry like on hand, but they are sold at Ulta and now Target, which I don't know if the cream gel liners are at Target yet, but it would not surprise me if it was coming soon. So, okay. Oh, oh in case that's a smash. I already have what I need right now, but smash, okay? Especially since they always put the liner vaults on sale. And by the way, apparently the formula has been revamped. Kind of curious about that because the old one was good but it says that this one is like updated and revamped and I don't know. I'm curious about that. If you've tried the new ones, let me know. Okay, just comment below and let me know if you tried the new ones. Um, but yeah, they did update it and they are adding a permanent lineup. So that's great. But anyway, smash. Okay, so Dandelion's company, 
Dandelions Cosmetics, I should say. I don't want to misspeak. They're releasing... The only title I could find for it was called New Spring Palette. So I don't know if that's going to be the title or if that's just kind of like the working name. I don't know. There, here are the swatches. <laughs> it's pretty. Um, so it is launching on April 15th at noon Eastern Standard Time. Uh, it is 12 shades. Um, I have never tried anything by Dandelions Co. I think that um, the the reviews that I've seen have been over like overall positive. So I'm I'm a little confused by this because it looks like it's a bundle of twelve like single shades, but the bundle of twelve single shades is forty dollars. Okay, but for ten dollars more, you get it in a palette. And I'm, I'm confused. Is it a custom palette or is it just like a Z palette? Like I could order on Amazon. Like I'm confused by that. Um, so $40 US dollars for 12 shades and then $50 for those 12, same 12 shades with a magnetic palette um, or singles will be $45 each. Um, I think I'm going to pass. <laughs> I don't know if they only do single shades, but if you've been here before, you know that I never touch my single shades. And if I do, it's like a special fucking occasion. <laughs> like, I am not, I'm not one of those creators that's just like great about using up their single shades unless they're really special. I'm just kind of like, mm, for me, this is a pass because I'm just, I'm not going to use them. I think it's pretty, it looks like a pretty curated color story. It kind of reminds me of the new Bella Beauté bar. Um, they're pastels, but like more curated. So it's kind of like what I see anyway in these swatches. Um, it's kind of like what I was expecting from Bella Beauté bar um, <laughs> in those that pastel. It's like more curated. The shades are pretty. They look gorgeous on the dark on dark skin um, from the swatches that I've been able to see. Um, but yeah, uh, for me it's past. Like I don't know. So just something about the lineup. It just, you know, I think I have similar shades in my collection. I just kind of don't need them, so pass. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know how new these next items are, but they're new to me. So I wanted to share them in case, like, you missed it somewhere. So Laura Lee Los Angeles has released a lip gloss set. And, of course, they're nude colored. Okay. If you know Laura Lee's aesthetic, you know that she is the basicest of bitches um, when it comes to color stories, okay? She is a nude queen. That is her lane, and she seems to just stay in it. Um, but she has released a line of lip glosses. So I saw a couple of creators on TikTok the other day reviewing these, and apparently they love them. So I am genuinely curious about them. Am I supposed to be on a lip no buy? Yes. Will I end up trying these in the future? Yes. Also, yes. Um, <laughs> they're gonna be a, they're gonna be a smash. Um, so they retail for twelve dollars each, and uh, you can get a bundle of three for thirty bucks. That's super reasonably priced, in my opinion. Um, so they're gonna be a smash. Um, are they gonna be a right now smash? Mm, probably not. I'm trying to use up a few glosses first, but smash especially since i was weak and i got the bun bunny one okay i can't i'm sorry i am excuse you um i am who i am so i got the blend bunny lip oils but i'm trying to be good but smash these are like i love a nude lip because i love colorful eyeshadow i mean on this show i almost never wear makeup because i film it in the middle of the night in my little my little cubby hole of the world, but they're gonna be a smash. Okay. <laughs> um, the last thing that I have written down for today, um, What's Up Beauty is releasing a set of six brushes. Uh, these are supposed to be for detail work, detail work, hooded eyes, and small eyes. So they are like a smaller makeup brush. They, the shapes, I've seen two shapes so far. Here are the shapes that I've seen. Um, these are, 
like a bougie version of the Blend Bunny cosmetics brushes. If you know, you know, those are a great brush set. If you have small eyes, I swear by them. I love them. Um, these brushes are bougie. They're made in Japan. They're 100% goat hair. So if you are somebody who only buys like vegan, you know, makeup products or accessories, these aren't for you. Uh, these are made of 100% goat hair in Japan. Um, they are going to retail for $23 each or the set of them is going to be $124 and 20 cents. The, <laughs> it's a strange amount. The only thing I can figure is like conversion maybe, but 120, $124 and 20 cents. I'm like, why the 20 cents? It just, it confused me. It must be conversion and I'm just missing something. But anyway. Those are launching on April 14th, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And like I said, I'll have all the information in the description box below. But for me, these are probably a smash. I am curious, I would like to try them. I can't, I honestly don't think I've ever tried a goat's hair brush. I'm not opposed to it. Um, but these are just like a little too rich for my blood right now. So $23 a brush. I would be interested if I could get them like on a good sale, you know, but for right now they're going to be a pass. So, and friends, that is all I have for you today. Thank you for joining me. Like I said, I'll always put the description, like the details in the description box for you. And I love your beautiful faces. Thank you for being here. If you made it this far, will you leave me like an eyeball emoji? I don't know. Or like actually leave me a moon emoji. Cause I'm actually, I found my choker the other day on the ground and I'm like, victory. Um, so leave me a moon, moon emoji. Um, ooh, also a little piece of goss, which is not confirmed, but it's sheer speculation. Okay. On my part, but I'm going to call it now because I'm reading like in between the lines, context clues. So Lunar Beauty is getting ready to have a new launch and Manny MUA. I, I watch his podcast, um, full coverage great podcast, by the way. Um, and he hinted that there's like multiple SKUs in this launch. It's the most SKUs he's ever launched, blah, blah, blah. I'm thinking that they're liquid lipsticks. So on his TikTok lately, he's been rocking some really fun colors of lipsticks that have like just kind of not been specified. And I'm thinking that that's going to be his launch. So I could be wrong, I am human, but if I was going to guess what it is, I think they're gonna be lipstick, uh, liquid lipstick line, so keep an eye out for that. Um, but yeah, just a little bit of goss. But anyway, I love your faces, thank you for being here. If you like my content, please sub subscribe, share jazz, whatever, all that jazz, you know, all the, all the YouTube jazz. Anyway, my Instagram is at she loves the sparkle. If you come across new indie makeup brand launches, feel free to tag me. Um, I literally spent like two hours Googling um, on Instagram, every indie brand I could think of uh, to try to find some information for you guys. So if you happen to see it, please tag me and I will make sure I make a note of it or save the post or whatever. So anyway, I love your faces. Thanks for being here. And you know, if you've got anything interesting in the comp, just share in the comments below, you know? The world's burning down. Might as well have fun with it. So I love your faces. Bye.